what's up everyone? Welcome back to our kitchen for another recipe video. We've got Crystal with us again today. Hi. And today is the third and final video of our Thanksgiving sort of mini series that we're doing here. So in the first video, we showed you how to make some amazing side dishes that you can have at a Thanksgiving dinner, uh, including a gravy, that was so bomb. And then in the second video that we just did, we reviewed some of the plant-based holiday loaves that are available to us around here. It was a really fun one for us to do. Uh, and then, so in this video, we figured we would cap it off with a delicious dessert. And what we have here is a sweet potato pie. But yeah, so Crystal kind of spearheaded this recipe and she's been trying a few different versions of it. So I don't know, why don't you tell us a little bit about your adventure here making this. First of all, I had the idea of making pumpkin pie for this dessert video, but pumpkin pie is a little bit more finicky as we discovered. I went yep. through um, quite a few failures and then Derek came up with the idea of a sweet potato pie, which was new to me. I'd never heard of that before. And so I basically made a sweet potato, not pumpkin pie. Yeah, so it is sort of like a spin-off. Very similar. Yeah, it's a bit of a spin-off from a pumpkin pie, so you get a lot of the same flavors and everything in there, and it's a similar sort of consistency and look. But yeah, it's made with sweet potatoes. I just thought it was the coolest thing. You yeah. know, we love sweet potatoes on this channel and at Simnet Nutrition, uh, so I thought, like, what a better way to finish Thanksgiving than to make an amazing sweet potato pie. So it's a really, really simple recipe using things you probably already have at home, so why don't we uh, get started? All right, let's do it. So the first thing you're gonna need, since this is a sweet potato pie, are some cooked sweet potatoes. So this is two cups of baked sweet potato. So the batter for this is going to be blended, so you do need a blender. We're gonna put that in the blender. And then we're gonna be using a half a cup of coconut sugar. You could use cane sugar if you want as well, but for this recipe, you do need a dry sugar, so don't go blending dates or maple syrup. I think it's gonna turn out the same. And next, we're gonna be adding a half a cup of full fat coconut milk. So you wanna make sure it's the full fat coconut milk because uh, we, did, we actually tried this with the lower fat coconut milk and yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't get thick enough. So you can see how thick this coconut milk is. So that's what we're using, half a cup. So next we're gonna be adding this flax egg mixture. And there's no egg in here, it's just called a flax egg because it does a similar thing that eggs do to recipes. It helps them thicken and set up. So uh, this is two tablespoons of ground flaxseed to five tablespoons of water. So then you just wanna add them both together and just mix it up, keep stirring. It takes about five to 10 minutes for it to thicken up. And then you're left with this. So put that in the blender. So next is really the magic ingredient of this whole thing and it's going to give us the flavor that we're looking for. So this is pumpkin spice. We're going to be using two teaspoons of this. So if you can't find pumpkin spice where you live, it's actually a blend of cinnamon, ginger, allspice, clove, and nutmeg. So you could always put one together yourself, but it's always nice and easy to buy. And there's lots of things that you can use pumpkin spice for. Like I absolutely love putting it in my oatmeal, you can put it in smoothies, you could do all sorts of stuff with it. It's really tasty. And then I just blend this? Yep, blend it until it's smooth. Oh, that's high. <laughs> Whoops, it's reversed. <laughs> finished blending up and how are we looking crystals is this how it looked like when it's you tested looking it? perfect you okay did a really good. good job well I didn't really do much but I just wanted to make sure that it was the right consistency so this is what we're looking for yeah it's like you can see here it's like it's pretty thick it's like kind of like the consistency of like toffee or something anyways do you want to taste it and see how it is mm. it's really good Mm. I think with the coconut milk in there, it would taste coconutty, but I'm not really getting that. Like, no. It, it really blends together really nicely. Yeah, it is. It's super good. It, it tastes a lot like pumpkin pie. <sighs> I'm so excited to bake it. Nice, me too. Do you want to make the crust? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to show you how to make a crust really quickly. Uh, this is a pretty simple little recipe. Crystal's kind of been using this for years now. You've made all sorts of stuff with it, like yeah. uh, vegan like uh, cheesecakes and different things using it. But uh, we're going to use it for this here today. So we'll show you that. But if you guys wanted to buy a pie crust that's already made at a grocery store, you could obviously totally do that. Just check the ingredients. Make sure it's uh, vegan friendly if you're looking for that, which you should be. <laughs> <laughs> the crust that we're going to make is super delicious, but it is a little bit different than the store-bought crust 
so yeah, there. it's not a flaky pie crust. <laughs> it's not a flaky pie crust, no. but it's a delicious pie crust. Yes. So let's make it. So the recipe that we're showing you is going to fill up this nine inch pie dish. So I guess we should have said that at the beginning, but I think this is a pretty standard size for a pie dish. So uh, yeah, you will need one of these for the next step. I mean, you should probably have this if you're gonna make the pie at all, but yeah, definitely when we're making the crust, you're gonna need that. So we're actually gonna be using the food processor for this one, and we're gonna be adding this one and a half cup of oats into it. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of pecans. And then we have two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. And then we're gonna use a tablespoon and a half of this full fat coconut milk. And it's just the same coconut milk that was from the can that we used for the pie filling. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So once you get it to about this consistency, you are ready to go. So next you're gonna wanna butter the baking tray. Last thing we want is on Thanksgiving to be so excited to serve this up to everybody and it sticks to the bottom. So we're just gonna put a little of this on there. And the next thing to do is just to dump all of this into the dish and make a crust out of it. Okay, so there we have it all pressed out nice and evenly. So now we're just ready to add the filling. Oh, she's thick. Now when you have your pie done, the next step is to cover the edges with tin foil. Now, this might not be a step that you guys need to do, but in our oven, our oven is very like, <laughs> Temperamental. Yeah, it's like <laughs> raw or burned Burn. to death. So what I have had to do is uh, cover the edges of the crust just with tin foil, <laughs> so they don't burn because they have burned in the past. There we it's go. It's not that hard though. It's fine. It just stops it from like burning too much. Yeah, it the just, edges. It just stops the crust from. Because the crust is a little delicate, like all of us are the sometimes. The crust is a little delicate. Derek had a really good question. Why don't you just cover the whole pie with tin foil? Like why did, why is it only the crust? And the reason for that is the pie is going to rise a little bit in the oven and if you put tin foil on it it's just going to cover the tin foil in pie. Okay. So there we are. Look how good that looks. It's very fashionable Sweet. actually. So the next thing we have to do is bake. Let's put it in the oven. So we've got the oven set at 350 degrees and it's gonna stay in there for how long? About 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. So usually what we do is we will time it for 30 minutes, check on it, make sure everything's good, and then put it in for another 20. Okay, sweet. All right, so we're just gonna let that bake for whatever, 45 minutes or so, and then we'll see you guys back here when it's done, and we'll let you know how it turned out. So the pie just came out of the oven, and as you guys saw from that footage there, it turned out really, really well. Cooked up perfectly, nothing burned this time, thank goodness. Um, so what you want to do now with it is to set it aside and just to let it cool, because it is very hot right now. But, with the magic of YouTube, we already have a piece to try. <laughs> <laughs> so we already gone ahead and we put a scoop of this coconut whip topping on there. Um, obviously not necessary, you could put some sort of like vegan ice cream or banana ice cream on there if you want as well or on the side, but uh, yeah, we just kind of wanted to do this. So this is a piece from the test one that we did yesterday. Yeah, and we have the, quite a few pies in our fridge yeah, right now, we, actually. Yeah, we do. <laughs> At various stages of burned. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this was the same as the recipe that we just did uh, today. So we're gonna try it out and we'll let you guys know how it is. So as you can see, the pie has like pretty good structure, I think they call it in the baking world. I don't really know, but basically it has held up and it didn't just like turn into mush. Uh, let's taste it and see if it tastes as good as it looks. Go first. Thank you, I'm excited for the coconut whip. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. Mmm, it's basically pumpkin mm. pie. It's yeah. basically pumpkin pie, but Holy with crap. Pie. Oh, it's that so ever good? good. Yeah, it's not ever good, eh? <laughs> yeah, if you like pumpkin pie, you are going to like this. The coconut whip is like really good on it too. Yeah, so 
I did try it without the coconut whip, and it's great. Mm -hmm. But with the coconut whip, it's fire. Oh my god. <laughs> now, what's happening to this channel, eh? I know, we're just first like, we let's just put oil, all the process. We use, <laughs> first, we use oil on the potatoes, then we cook a bunch of fake vegan roasts up. Now we're using Cool Whip. <laughs> oh, I guess cinnamon nutrition's gone crazy, guys. That's the fun of Thanksgiving and Christmas and just these other <laughs> family holidays. Exactly. You just want to make good food. Yeah. So we actually have like so much pie to eat. There's that one. There's this one. Ah, that one's still burning. So awesome. Still hot. You gotta leave that aside for a little lot longer. So we're gonna have a good couple days, I would say. Yeah. Good I'm on the um, pie till four diet. <laughs> <laughs> you just eat pie and then at four o'clock. You're, you can open it up and have some other things like veggies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope that you guys, if you do make the recipe, let us know in the comments. Yeah. And tell us what you think. Yeah, definitely. Let us know what you think. And take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, share it with us at Simnet Nutrition. We love seeing what you guys create. So we hope you enjoyed this video. So subscribe if you guys want to see more from us. And we will see you soon with another video. Thank you so much, Crystal, for making me so many pies. You're welcome. And figuring out how to make this amazing sweet potato pie. We appreciate I'm so it. So glad it, it all worked out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> It all came together. So much love from us. Happy Thanksgiving to you in Canada and a few weeks later in the US. It's actually a really good time if you're in the Northern Hemisphere just to celebrate the fall harvest and the abundance of amazing food that there is available to us right now. So much love. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye bye. So subscribe so you can see more from us. Hold on. Let me put that into <laughs> English. I have so many languages in my head. <laughs>